I always wanted a decent pistol just for target practice but you know all of those replica CO2 pistols are not that great they are you know not very accurate and the power drops off so I was looking for a PCP one there's lots on the market until I came across this yeah this is the aptly named Zazdar Artemis and it's the PP 700 SA so um, what's it like I got one myself for Christmas review coming right up Don't forget to check out our new website, ergonology.com. There you'll find all of our latest videos, social media links, along with many 3D printed parts, especially designed for the air rifle community. We also have an independent forum where you can trade your equipment. All of the links are on www.ergonology.com and the link can be found in the YouTube video description below. Hey there YouTubers, it's Steve here, aka Catanonia, and welcome to another video on ergonology.com. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, check the comments, there are other videos out with a whole load of air rifles, air pistol, and of course technology reviews, so um, don't forget to check out our website as well. But anyway, let's get straight onto it, we're outside, it's a glorious day and I don't want to be doing this in the office, so hopefully the auto on the camera is working here, but basically I've always wanted a decent pistol for target shooting. Um, and I've been looking using like everybody else with the replicas, you know, like the Brownings and the SIGs and all that lot, but they're CO2 and the power curve on them is terrible. The CO2, it's, it's awful. They're great for plinking, but they're not much fun for target. So I was looking for something that was PCP. Um, and of course you can get multi-variables, you know, Virac, do some, um, yeah, HW44 I think it is, you can get stuff like that. But then I stumbled across this bad boy. And this is the Artemis um, at Zazda. Um, and it comes under different names, different guises, but basically it's SMK. It originally came from the SMK PP700W, which I'll leave some images around. And uh, it was quite a nice um, pistol. It was a pneumatic pistol and it was pretty damn accurate. And a lot of people liked it, especially for the price of about £180, I believe. Um, but then this one's come out as well, and this has basically enhanced it a little bit. The major differences with this and the 700W uh, is that basically it's got a square shape on the barrel here. Um, obviously it's all in black, it's got like a Picatinny rail stuff on the top, a full length um, dovetail rail, and it's got adjustable sights on it as well, manual sights, so you can either put on a scope that I put on here, or you can actually use the manual sights on that. Um, so those are the major differences, and for that you're getting about a £20 extra. So these are retailing about, I think we got this uh, Christmas time, around about um, £220 UK pounds. So let's just go through some specs with this. And I've got some notes down here. So basically we're looking at um, about 37 centimeters length on the actual pistol itself. And the weight of it is just a shade over a kilogram. I'm just checking here, it's 1.1 kilogram. Um, and obviously it's a single shot uh, pistol. So we have the air cylinder at the bottom here and it's a 65cc 200 bar fill. And you're probably getting about 50, 60, 70 shots depending on the power limit of this pistol now talking about the power limit on this pistol it is all the way up to six foot pound um, it can go higher than that but we'll talk more about that at the end when we do the summing up on the pistol itself so just walking through it nice and simple we have a full rifle barrel here and obviously this pistol is totally unloaded full rifle barrel um, in here uh, quite a long barrel on it um, but the weight isn't too bad it feels quite good we have a dovetail rail up the top here and we just about make that out. And again, I'll leave some pictures around for you. So half of it is dovetail, so it's a 12 mil dovetail, so you can put on your accessories on there. And then you have some sort of like Picatinny mount on the front of it here, it's sort of weirdish looking. Um, you can fit stuff onto there as well. We have a sight at the front. So this again is different to the PP700W, the green one that you would see. We have an adjustable sight on the front and on the back as well on there. We've talked about the air reservoir here. There's the fill probe up here. One thing you do have to be careful is when filling this up to 200 bar, you've got to do it as a slow fill. It's only a small reservoir on here and it does get warm. So slowly fill it up just before the red mark and you're good to go. Nice, simple little fill probe, all comes with it. Um, like I said, there's a, the cylinder there. Um, and basically the unique mechanism on here is the breech and how it all works. Basically what you have at the back here is we have a sliding breech block here. So basically what you do is you 
push it open like so. You slot your 177 or 22 pellet into there. You close it up, you cock the pistol, and then obviously you've then fired the pistol. So there's the cocking handle here. The actual trigger itself is actually very, very nice. It's a fully adjustable two-stage trigger. Um, and I've got mine set up perfectly. I can fill that second stage perfect and then just pull it off. You know, the first stage just comes in nice and then nice crisp pull on the actual pistol. Really, really happy with that, but it does take a bit of setting up. Now you can use the manual sights at the back if you want on here and the, the sights on the front, or you can do what most people will probably do and put some sort of optic on here. Now I've just got a very cheap, I think it's 30 pound mil bro on here. It's not even, uh, it's not even zoomable or anything like that, but it, it's a nice little green and red dot sight on there. So really, really nice. And there's not really that much more to talk about with it really um, there's no safety catch on this it's single shot like I said with about 50 to 60 shots or so that you're getting with it now what you can do as well and I seriously recommend this is that you definitely chrono this when you first get it there has been a lot of horror stories with the original P700s um, and the Artemis Sazdars as well is that some people have been getting them over six foot pounds now in the uk pistols air pistols are only allowed to be a maximum of six foot pound um and this one when i got it was actually four and a half so i got it from solware and a very record rfd i definitely recommend them um but yeah really 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 just be careful with that i'll show you later how you adjust it and things to watch out for but there have been a few horror stories out there of a few people getting these seven to eight foot pound and of course straight away you're illegal on that but um, really, really nice little pistol, nicely finished, all in black, um, nice printing on it, all anodized, etc. Well, let's just show you how the loading mechanism and the firing mechanism works, and it is a loud pistol. So obviously this is all, I'm gonna put no pellets in here and it's totally safe. You pull back your breech block like so, you put your pellet in, you close it up, you cock the pistol, and then we'll just take that to one side and we'll fire that off and it is loud. Now there is the options of being able to put on a modifier or a silencer on the actual a moderator or silencer on the front, you can do that. You just got to unscrew this little cap here and you can actually even get a folding stock for this and I think Solware sell those as well. So you see people doing that. But remember, at the end of the day, it's a pistol, six foot pound. I don't see, personally, I don't see the point in doing that, but you can do that. So anyway, let's see how it shoots. You know I'm not the greatest pistol shot in the world. You're gonna take the mickey out of me probably for putting tape on my eye. But I'm gonna stick some targets out in the garden at 10 meters. Um, and we're gonna see how I get on. You know, um, at the end of the day, I'm an amateur when it comes to these things, but let's see how I get on. And to do it as well, I'm gonna use um, just some cheap old Bisley practice flats. Nice and simple, out at 10 meters. This is a 177. Okay, so we're going to be shooting out to 10 meters. We're going to do five shots each with the Zazdar. We've got a camera down range. We'll see how we get on. Cue the music, cue you know the stuff. And of course, now's the time to take the Mickey out of me. Let's see how we get on. So there we go. I'm actually very impressed with this. Let's go and have a look and see how we've done. So, how did we get on? Well, like I said, that was unsorted pellets at 10 meters. Obviously I'm rested there and I'm using an optic on it. But um, yeah, I think the, the footage shows they are pretty good for me. You know, these are the, the targets and I was not taking my time really. And we all know I am rubbish um, with pistols. But um, yeah, suitably impressed. It certainly is accurate enough. It also helps that it's also got uh, that full power up to very, very close to the six foot pound. So you get a nice flat trajectory. Now, obviously if I change pellets in this and let's say I put in some uh, proper target pellets um, around it, let's say AAs or sovereigns in there, it will probably do better, but I was just deciding to use uh, these flat paper punchers. Uh, they're good out to 10 meters. Um, but yeah, very, very impressed with it. Very impressed indeed. 
So what do I really think? Let's sum this all up. Okay, so number one, the price. The price on this pistol is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's made by SMK, Artemis. Uh, they're renowned for having horrible, horrible build quality um, for a cheap, cheap price. So this is £200, £220 um, as it was, and then obviously I brought an optic to put on it. So the very first thing I did with this is I took it apart and had a look at it all, and I was absolutely amazed there was no monkey grease all over or anything like that it was nicely done um, there was usually when you take an artemis or an smk type of um, pistol or rifle to pieces you see all sorts of rubbish in there bad workmanship but this was absolutely fantastic um, absolutely no problems with it whatsoever at all um, the big problem with this is that it is so easy to adjust. Now, I will leave a little bit of video running to show you what I mean, but basically you take off the grip, there's an Allen key in the bottom here, you take these two bits off and off it comes. And there is basically the hammer attention spring. So it's this hammer part here, it's how much tension that puts under and that therefore how much air comes out of it. Um, and basically all you do is you just turn a screwdriver and you increase or decrease the pressure, the power of this pistol. And you can get it anywhere from two foot pound all the way up to seven, eight, nine, ten foot pound. So the big problem with these pistols is make sure 100% that when you get one, you test fire it at your RFD and you make sure that it is running legal. If it's not, it is a quick and simple change to change it in there. But there has been many, many reports of people getting these wrong. But um, I know Solware that I got these from, they were all checked before they went anywhere out the door to make sure they were safe. And of course, you can change it yourself. So I, I tweaked mine. Mine was at four and a half foot pound. Mine's now running at five and a half foot pound, which obviously gives you that flatter trajectory and obviously helps with the accuracy on there. The other thing I did find as well with this one was that the trigger uh, sear on here was set way too light. So, you know, when you get one of these, just be very careful, make sure it's always pointing down range and check it out. I was finding when I, when I cocked mine that every now and then it will just go off on its own. And it was basically because the trigger sear was set too light. Now you can change this, fully adjust the trigger position on here, the weight, the pull and everything on there, your first and your second stage. I spent a bit of time with mine, nothing difficult. It's just a matter of changing some screws around, changing it around and I've got mine bang on, so I'm happy, but just check it out. Um, it happens at times with them, but I'm over I'm actually amazed with the product itself. Uh, 220 pound, it is an SMK Artemis product and it is a good one. Uh, the build quality is fantastic. Would I recommend this, that extra 20 pound, over the PP700W, the green one from SMK, branded SMK? Most definitely. Yeah, you get the additional sights on it, the uh, adjustable front and rear manual sights on it. You get a better mounting system. Personally, I think it looks much, much better in the black as well. And effectively, it is the same pistol. Things to watch out for with it definitely is do not overfill this too quickly. This cylinder does get very warm very quickly, so be careful with that on there. But I think I've really talked about the bad points. You know, there is not that much bad points about it. The packaging it comes in is a bit naff. It's rubbish. The instructions, they're rubbish as well. Um, is it worth putting a silencer on the end of it? Maybe if you want to do that. It is fairly loud as we've heard already. It's fairly loud. Um, will that change the accuracy? I don't know. I've not tried it myself. Folding stock, I think you're wasting your time to be honest. It is a good single shot PCP pistol. Um, you can fire it, you know, I, I'm beginning with pistols, um, trying it out myself, but I have tried firing like so, and it is nice and comfortable to do that. It's not too bad. It's a little bit front heavy on the front here, but the grips are nice, and I'm actually thinking about 3D printing some grips for this to make it a little bit nicer. But um, overall, an absolutely cracking, cracking pistol. I'm glad I got one for Christmas and spent um, and got given it. It's really, really nice and really like it a lot. So, um, well, have you got one of these? I know quite a lot of you guys have got the uh, have got these uh, pistols from, be it either the Artemis or the Zazdar, whichever one they name in branding you get it from. Have you got one? What do you think of them? Do you like them? Are you finding them accurate? Have you had any issues with yours? Did yours turn up over six foot pound or way under? It's easy to change it, I know. Love to know. If you've not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and don't forget to go and check out the website. See you on the next video.